for about two years now, uh, the Purdue Climate Change Research Center has been working with stakeholders around the state to put together an assessment of how climate change is going to affect our state, and we're doing this on many different fronts. Today we're releasing the Climate Report, the first of nine different topical reports. So this report basically just says, here is how Indiana's climate has changed in the past, and here's how we expect it to change in the future. In about a month, we'll be releasing uh, a report on health and how people's health will be affected by climate change. And then every month after that, we'll be releasing another report on a different topic. One of the findings that's really clear is that it's going to get warmer in Indiana, and quite a bit warmer. And that's going to be most dramatic in the summer in terms of looking at the high temperatures that we're going to get and, the, uh, and also the, the low temperatures in the summer. So what does this mean for us living here in Indiana? So one of the most obvious ones, and I think the, the one that uh, really shocked me when I first saw it, uh, is extreme heat. What's being done here is we are calculating the number of days averaged over a number of years where the temperature is above 95 degrees Fahrenheit as, at the hottest part of the day. Okay, so in southern Indiana that happens about uh, 10 times a year on average. All right, so then we have projections for the future for the 2020s, 2050s, 2080s. So to see the largest pattern, let's go down to the 2080s for the high emission scenario. So you might think of this as the worst case scenario. In southern Indiana, we see almost a hundred days <coughs> per year above 95 degrees Fahrenheit. So the highest temperatures in summer, uh, the number of days where it's extremely hot is going to go way up, and uh, the number of nights where it's uncomfortable is going to go up as well. Of course it's going to get warmer throughout the year, but I think we'll notice it the most in the summer when it really becomes uncomfortable. In the winter it's going to be in less snow shoveling sometimes and uh, you know maybe less less road salt um, less of the extremely cold days a and that might lead to more uh, being able to grow more different plant species here uh, a longer growing season and also potentially more pest species that come in and and uh, attack our crops and and the native species that we have as well we have uh, institutions around the state who are involved in putting this report together and we've gotten input from many different interested parties around the state, whether it's groups of farmers or uh, the energy industry, uh, public health officials. We, lots of people have had input into this report basically telling us what they wanted to know about and then we have more than 100 experts from around the state getting together to try to provide that information to them.